Hey guys, welcome to Sky Chats. My name is Sky. Today I want to talk about something that I've never talked about before on this channel, or at all really in my life. I just want to say before anyone types in the comments, oh Sky, you're just doing this for views, you're just making this all up for views. Just don't, okay? Because I don't, guys, I don't need to tell lies for views. Like, I could put up a video of me eating a banana and I get like two million views, so just, just don't, okay? So, I want to talk about my stalker experience. I don't really know where to start, there's, there's a lot to it, but um, I'm just gonna, just gonna start. I always felt all my life like, like I was being watched. You know when you can kind of feel eyes on you? I would say it to people and, and they'd be like, Sky, you're paranoid. You have imaginary friends. Like I did have, I had imaginary friends when I was, when I was younger, but it wasn't them that was watching me, you know? But then as my life went on, things unfolded and I knew that I wasn't crazy. I am being stalked, seriously, seriously stalked. When I got my first car and I was, you know, I was loving life and I was driving around on my own. And one day I was at the petrol station, gas station, filling station, whatever you want to call it. And I filled up my tank and I went inside to pay. Because that's just the kind of girl I am, you know, I pay for my petrol. And the lady at the cash register was like, oh, this, uh, it's being paid for. I was like, okay, that's, that's a little weird. And that was, uh, that was eight years ago. And I haven't had to pay for a drop of petrol since. I, um, I tried to, I tried to escape it once. I got a wig. I got a wig on eBay. Uh, it was just, just long, golden curls. So I, dro I drove around in this wig. And that, that actually worked. Um, for a while, but I found that I was just kind of um, driving off without paying for petrol because I was so used to not having to pay. I have a criminal record now because of this psychopath. This is why I didn't want to talk about it, because I get angry and, and upset, you know, it's upsetting. But I didn't realize exactly how long this had been going on until one morning I woke up in my house, in my bed, which is normal, and there was these photos next to my bed. It's me on my third birthday. That's me standing up under a green screen. This is me on my pet donkey. Her name's Anya. She ran away. I don't think she was artist in the first place, but she still she ran away. But anyway, me or nobody in my family took these. Oh, and then there's this one. I actually had that one blown up because it, it was a really good photo. Like, he's talented, but that doesn't- it's- ugh. This guy has been watching me since I was three years old. Did he take my donkey? Did he take Anya? He probably took her. And returned her to her owner. But that's not all. He broke into my house, into my room. And he took all my clothes. Every single bit of clothing I had. Replaced with his clothes. I used to have. A, you, do you remember? I don't know what kind of age group watches my videos, but um, you remember like I think it was like some MTV awards. J Lo, she wore this like um, sparkly green deep V dress, and it was kind of it was all the scandal of the year, and everyone's like wondering how she kept everything, you know, hidden. Sellotape. She used sellotape actually. That was a secret, just sellotape. I had an exact replica of that dress. And now, some psychotic man is out there wearing my 2001 MTV Awards J-Lo replica dress. And what do I have? A bunch of oversized t-shirts from Top Man. You know, people ask me, people ask me almost every day, Sky, why do you wear a guy's clothes? You're a female, why are you wearing why are you wearing men's clothes? I just feed them some garbage about clothes not having gender. Cause that's that's easier, right? That's easier than telling them the truth. You know, every morning it's like, what'll I wake up and find today? You know? What's gonna happen next? And then today I wake up and there's this. This isn't even a kitten, this is a fully grown cat. 
just sitting there. I've never seen this cat before. I don't know its name. I don't know its gender. So guys, that's my stalker experience. I might make like a few more, like 10 more parts of this video. Um, because it's just, there's just so much to it and there's always like crazy stuff happening. He's always just, it's... Oh, don't touch me. Oh, you cutie pie, huh? You cutie pie. I'm not happy. <laughs>